So, the question of the day. How does Intel name their processors? In this video, we will be discussing how Intel names their i lineup of processors. So, with that out of the way, let's begin. So, let's start simple. The first two digits represent the brand of the processor and the line the processor is from. For example, an i3 is part of the Intel i line and it is a series 3. Moving on from the first two digits, a series of four digits will follow. The first digit shows the generation of the processor and the following three digits represent the product family that the processor is from. For example, an i7-7700K is a 7th generation i7 and is from the 700 series. An i5-4690K is a 4th generation i5 from the 690 series. Generally, processors from a series with higher numbers will perform better than processors from a lower series. An i7-8700 will outperform its little brother, the i7-8550U. Generally speaking, these processors that have a higher series number have more cores and have higher clock speeds. The i5-8600K and the i5-8400 both have 6 cores, 6 threads, and 9 megabytes of cache. But the i5-8600K has a base clock speed of 3.6 GHz, while the i5-8400 is only clocked at 2.8 GHz. Not to mention the i5-8600K is also unlocked. Following these digits will sometimes follow either a single or double letter suffix. When a K follows the final four digits, it signifies that the processor is unlocked, meaning that the core multiplier is able to be changed, allowing the user to overclock their chip. When a U follows, then it means the processor is a low power and is meant for use in laptops and other efficiency-reliant workstations. Several other suffixes can be added, however it is a relatively long list and I will leave the link to Intel's official naming scheme webpage in the description. The Intel Xeon processors follow a different naming scheme, but the naming scheme is also explained in the link in the description and I would highly recommend you check that link out. Well, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this quick little look at Intel's naming schemes for their i-series processors. If you want a deeper look, I highly suggest you visit the official Intel page, which is linked in the description. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.